Hello, Laura from Blossom with Laura here. We've reached the fifth and final video of how to make your table arrangement with chicken wire, using chicken wire. My last video was showing you how to put the flowers in. I used flowers that I'd picked locally from here um, and a couple of shop bought flowers just to show you how to use them. Now today I'm just going to do a bit of embellishment. You may not, may not want to do embellishment, um, but if you don't have that many flowers, sometimes this helps because it will fill in the gaps. The other thing I wanted to say to you was if you was going to use something like lilies in this display, lilies usually come maybe three heads on a stem and you usually buy them sort of a bud stage or just opening. Remember when you put them in your display that they're actually going to open quite a lot. So you don't really want to put them in where they're going to open over another flower. It's a bit of a waste really. So just keep that in mind when using lilies or anything that's really going to bloom. Um, you don't want to be hiding anything in there. To embellish this one, I've on purpose not filled in all the gaps here. You can see some of the chicken wire. I mean, I could have put more foliage or more flowers in, but I'm actually going to use different types of things. I'm just going to quickly show you how to use, you can, how you can use different types of things just to, um, I think, make it more interesting. I love using what's out there, nature, even things that are dead. Um, are not really dead because they've just got a lovely shape or a lovely colour to them. I love mosses. If you follow me, you know I love mosses. Uh, lichen. Uh, I love vines. Here I have some clematis vine um, or sometimes it comes really thick from the flower market and it's called, we call it monkey vine and I use this a lot. It's not in great supply over here in France, so I'm due to go back to England very shortly, so I'll be loading up. In fact, I have a friend of mine, Chris, who I work with on some of the jobs that I have, and uh, he always says, it's not a Laura job without a bit of vine, <laughs> which is actually quite true. So this is Clematis vine, as you can see. I'm going to use some of that. Then I've got this lovely old piece of wood that's got some moss on it. It's very light, so it's very old. It's just been laying down in the woods somewhere. I'll just put that back. I've got a grapevine growing outside here, but it's not fully matured. So there's my little token of grapes that I'm going to show you how to use. You can buy these from the supermarket or any fruits that are in season, of course, because it's cheaper. Then I've got some apples. I got a bit of old viney, dead vine that's from the ivy and some moss. Some of this embellishment is to hide the mechanics that I told you about, remember when we put the, the real wire on the outside of the container and I said to you, I'll show you how to hide that later. Well, some of the mechanics is going to do that. Some of the embellishment is going to do that. So first of all, I'm going to show you my little bunch of grapes. So the little bunch of grapes, I've got a wire, a florist wire and I'm just going to attach that onto the bunch of grapes, just wrapping it round so that it's secure. I'm going to do other tutorials um, and I'll show you how to do wiring properly, but at this stage, as long as the wire is on the grapes, don't worry about it. So the wire is on the grapes now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a hook. Can you see? I've just made like a pin at the top there. And where you can actually see the real wire, 
I'm just going to push this wire into the chicken wire and you see it's actually hooked. Maybe you can't see. <laughs> Maybe you can't see. Um, I've pushed the, the wire into the chicken wire and it's hooked onto the chicken wire so it can't come out, you see. So just push that back in there a bit and have it hanging down. I will take some close-up photos so that you can see afterwards for sure. So that piece of grape there is hiding the real wire on the outside. The other way that you can hide the real wire is to just take some vine, some greenery. This is clematis vine and you could use ivy or anything like that. Take off those bottom leaves and cut and push in, just gently pick up your flowers, push in where the real wire is showing and let that hang onto the table. That will also hide the real wire. Another thing I want to show you is with some moss, just a little bit of handful of moss. I'm going to just put it into one of the gaps that I have here. I've just literally placed it into one of the gaps that I have here where you can actually see the chicken wire. And I'm going to get an apple, just a little apple. And I'm gonna put the wire right the way through the apple and twist it on. So you've got that little apple on a wire. And again, I'm just going to flip that up. So it's like a pin and put it through the moss. And you see, if I pull it, it can't move. And also, Look how pretty that looks. And as in flowers, I'm going to group them. So I've got another apple. Just take that apple off of there. I'm gonna put that wire straight the way through, bend it down and twist it, and then make that little pin. And in it goes into the chicken wire. And then you pull and it's not going to fall. I'll do it with the other hand. It's not going to fall because it's actually hooked onto the chicken wire inside. And then I'm going to do one more little one. I'll show you once more. Through the apple, down and twist. Make the pin into the chicken wire and then you see it's quite pretty nestled in there much more interesting don't you think than just flowers i love flowers but sometimes a bit of nature in there it's good the other thing i have here is this bit of old vine love the vine if it was on a longer stem, it's not. If it was on a longer stem, I would just place it in there into the chicken wire so it doesn't come out. Actually, it looks quite nice there, doesn't it? But it's not, alas. So I'm going to wire this wire onto there and make my pin. So I shove in. Just find a gap for it to go into. Yeah. Pull, it's there, it's not coming out. And then just fiddle about until you're happy where you want it to go. Isn't that lovely? Look at apples, a bit of that. The other thing we have is this lovely piece of wood. Now this is, you're either this is a Marmite moment. You're either going to love it or you hate it. 
So this I'm going to wire around the middle there. The real white with a, a florist wire. And then I'm going to make that hook and find a place where I think this would sit beautifully. Um, I think it's there. So that goes on to the table. See? I love it. Then, you don't have to use all of this at the same time, by the way, of course not. And then, last but not least, Chris, if you're watching, it's my vine. I cannot wait to bring lots of this back from the UK later on this year because I have a retreat at Chateau de Bourno, I might have mentioned before, in December. And I'm going to whip this everywhere. Not whip the people, but I'm going to whip it everywhere because it looks fantastic and look how rough and natural it is so we're going to use plenty of this so just on this one let's see what we can do maybe just push that into the chicken wire there and we could just I don't know go around and push that back in She says. Okay, that's in there. And then maybe behind this piece of lovely wood that we put in. Yeah. Or if we don't like that, we could take it out. and wrap it around the actual container. You can go as big as you like, really. Be free, be artistic. You know, you can always take these things out because it's so easy, because it's in chicken wire. So there's a few embellishments that you could try. There's so many I could show you, but again, we'll be here all day. I really hope that you found my videos informative and that you've enjoyed them and that I've been clear and if you'd be interested in seeing any others please let me know uh, events and weddings are what I do I'm a floral decorator but I also am a teacher I taught in Japan for four years. I lived in Japan for four years. I've also taught all over the world. And uh, I love to pass on my 40 years of experience to other people. Um, it gives me great joy, actually. And if you are going to have a go at any of these, please send me a picture. Uh, I'd love to see it. And until next time, bye bye. And thank you.